Anyway, there's all right. All right. Back to principles for a minute. Um, Bezos started Amazon um, at a time when basically all the bookstores were brick and mortar and did things that no one else has ever done. Later pivoted the company uh, to sell a whole lot more than books online and created one of the greatest companies in the world that the world's ever seen. And obviously there's a lot of virtue of independence in doing that. But now uh, in an FCC filing, uh, Amazon is taking aim at Musk. And, and there's a lot of bad things you can say about Musk, but the specific things that are said here is, quote, whether it is launching satellites with unlicensed antennas, launching rockets without approval, building an unapproved launch tower, or reopening a factory in violation of a shelter in place order, the conduct of SpaceX and other Musk related companies makes their view plain. Rules are for other people and those who insist upon or even simply request compliance are deserving of derision and ad hominem attacks. And, and leaving aside the ad hominem attacks, how does someone build a company like Amazon and think that independence is something that's good when we have it, but if someone else acts a little bit independent, well, that's bad. They're a tall poppy and should be cut down. You know, it really is hard to uh, figure out, you know, why and how people hold what they hold in the way that they hold it. Um, you know, why don't people live by principle? Why? Uh, do they feel it's okay to use government as a competitive edge? Now, you could make the argument that Elon Musk does the same thing. And I think that uh, I've seen some defenders of Amazon make that argument that Elon, uh, Elon Musk uses government all the time to defend himself and promote his business and, and uh, undermine a competition in the sense of, of uh, getting deals from the government, you know, in a... In a, in a Ill illegitimate way. Um, but look, Microsoft did the same thing. If you remember, Microsoft was attacked for antitrust uh, violations and it was horrified by the attack. This is in the, in the mid to late 90s. And it, it, it tried to defend itself. And there were even moments in which Bill Gates almost came close to rejecting the whole idea of antitrust. Um, and then as soon as they settled and everything was finished, they turned around and started attacking everybody else on antitrust and suing everybody else on the basis of antitrust. And it's as if it's, it's part of the pragmatic businessman's view that uh, if others are doing it, it should be okay for me to do it. That is, uh, uh, everything's, everything's uh, legit uh, in, in, in it's, it's pure pragmatism, right? It's, it's short-termism, it's unprincipled thinking. I don't know if to blame Jeff Bezos for this or not. He is retired after all. He's not the CEO anymore, Maybe, but I don't know. Maybe he supports this completely or maybe he doesn't. It's hard to tell. I think some of this is coming out of Blue Origin and, and Blue Origin clearly is his company. So one suspects that yes, he is partially behind this, but this is the, the, the pragmatic streak I also think that this is what the mixed economy does to the better people. It grinds them down, it exhausts them, it, 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 it penalizes them for being principled, it, it rewards the pragmatists, it rewards the people who abuse, it rewards the cronies. So if you're not a crony, you're penalized. So there's a temptation to become a crony. So it's, it's the whole system is rigged against the independent thinker, it's rigged against the man of principle. And um, it wears it down, it wears them down. And I think ultimately most of them, I, you know, very few uh, don't succumb to this. So there are very few can stand on, on, um, on principle and, 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 um, and not turn to pragmatism. And, and to a large extent, it's because they don't have a philosophy. They don't have a basis on which to stand on principle. So, um, yeah, it's tremendously sad, but it, it seems to happen over and over and over again. 
Yeah, it, it really does. And, and like I said, it, it's baffling to me. And the, the best spin I can put on it sometimes with Musk, for instance, is that he will start a project that he's going to do anyway, Starship, and he gets NASA involved. And then when the FAA says, no, you can't have a license, he runs to NASA and say, hey, um, these are U.S. taxpayer dollars. The yep, FAA yep. is basically um, stealing U.S. taxpayer dollars, seeing them misspent. Um, will you help me get this license? And NASA does. And so he's yep. kind of playing this regulatory arbitrage or something like that. You know? Well, he definitely does that. There's no question he's doing stuff like that. He also clearly articulates, you know, uh, um, the case that he doesn't really care about regulators, although he seems to. So he's a very mixed character. I, I love the one where somebody asked him about the satellites. Well, what about national regulations, regulators? And he said, well, they'll shake their fists at the satellite because that's all they'll be able to do. Um, I mean, I wish he lived up to that spirit. Yeah. But why Bezos would do it, why Bill Gates would do it, I, I think it's this almost impossibility of sticking to principle in the face of constant, not nonstop barrage against them. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.